Hi everyone. Today we are going to install the front axle slider for the 2021 Ninja 1000 SX. This frame slider actually works for models 2017 through 2021, uh, possibly even 22, but uh, the part listed just gives 2017 through 2021. It is part number 999941276. This is a Kawasaki OEM part, and it is a very simple install. You're going to just need a torque wrench, a socket wrench, and two 14 millimeter sockets. So please join me, and let's get started. Okay, so my box is kind of falling apart here, but this is a genuine Kawasaki part, front axle slider. Uh, the box actually says to 2019, but the part number does match up through 2021. Inside the box, you're gonna have your instructions. And again, it's a pretty simple install. You're gonna have the bar that goes through your axle inside this little pack. You're gonna have your sliders, which uh, is, is just plastic. Um, it's not gonna hold up to a whole lot, but it's a little added protection. So you'll have two sliders. You're gonna have these caps, a nut, a collar, okay? So you're gonna have two collars. One, two, and you're gonna have two washers. So the install starts on the left-hand side of the bike. So I'm gonna reposition the camera and we will get to it. Okay, we're looking at the left-hand side of the bike here. Okay, so you're gonna take the short collar. For the, this is for the left-hand side. And you're going to align the flat piece to the flat notch on one of the plastic pieces. See it there? So the flat, flat and if you look on the other side you see it line up and just put them together and then you're going to take the longer one which is for the right hand side and do the same thing next step is you're going to take a washer and the long bolt so you're going to take the bolt and a washer put it on Remember, the left-hand side was the short one. So, feed the bolt through it. Run it through. That is all on this side for now. We're going to switch the camera to the other side. Okay, so we are on the right-hand side now. And we're going to take our washer and nut. And the longer collar, and you'll see that this is actually inset compared to the other one. And you're just gonna slide it, hold it, hold the left hand side and slide this one on. So you're gonna take the washer and try and get it. This is gonna be the difficult part, but you're gonna, you gotta get the washer over the bolt and then get the nut on there. Tight quarters. I'm spinning it with my finger and holding the other side with my other finger, trying to get this tight. Doesn't seem to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a deep well 14 millimeter socket, stick it on the nut, try and get this thing threaded on. There we go. Now it's a lock nut, so it's going to seem loose. Since it's a lock nut, take your, take your socket wrench and then your torque wrench. And you're going to torque this to 35 newton meters or 26 foot pounds. Just torque it down.
Last step is to put in the plastic caps on each side. That's all there is to it. I'm not exactly sure why it's designed this way, where it has that gap there, but then over here it's tight. But I'm sure there's good reason. Now you will notice that I had this up on a front stand. You do not need it on a front stand to install these. But this way you'll protect your front wheel. From any potential damage, if you drop your bike or take a small slide, I don't think they're going to hold up to a major slide, but it'll help. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I will try and answer everyone's questions as soon as possible. If there's anything you'd like to see, any tips, tricks, techniques, anything at all motorcycle related, please let me know. I do these videos for you, so anything that you would like to see, I am more than happy to do it. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell to notify you whenever a new video drops. Thank you again. Ride safe and keep the rubber side down.